And then finally, our last setup is gonna be using a tool called Gitpod. Starting from lesson five, the lesson that we're on right now, Ethers.js Simple Storage, all of our code repos are gonna come with a button. In the repo, if you scroll down, it'll come with this open in Gitpod button. Now, Gitpod is a cloud development environment where you can actually run your code on a remote server. It's kind of similar to the Remix IDE, but it allows you to run Visual Studio Code in the browser or connected to another server. This is good because then you don't have to do any installation on anything, since all the tools that you can want to use are just going to be running on this remote server. This has its downsides though, obviously, since you'll only be able to code if Gitpod is up and working for you. Additionally, when it comes to private keys, you absolutely do not want to run any code with a private key that has real money in it on Gitpod. Why? Well, once again, since you're running your scripts on a remote server, those servers have access to your private keys. But since you've pinky promised that you, for this course, you're not going to be using a MetaMask or a private key with actual money in it, it should be fine. The other downside is that these often cost money to use and Gitpod isn't free, but it's an option if you absolutely cannot get any of the installation working. So if you go ahead and you hit this opening Gitpod button, you'll get a welcome to Gitpod showing up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with GitHub since you've signed up for GitHub here. You want to go ahead and authorize Gitpod. And it'll go ahead and start creating this workspace for you. And you'll notice it looks exactly like Visual Studio Code. Since I opened the repo up in Gitpod, it came with all the code. And you can even open this workspace up in VS Code Desktop. So this is might be a little bit confusing, but basically you can run off of Gitpod using your local Visual Studio code. And if you see Gitpod here, that's how you know that you're running off of Gitpod. If you see this pop up, do you want to open this workspace in VS Code Desktop? You can hit open and it'll ask you if you want to open up Visual Studio code, which I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And you'll get something that looks like this on your Visual Studio code. It'll tell you that it wants to install the Gitpod extension and then open that Gitpod URL. So you can go ahead and install it, reload window and open, and it's gonna go ahead and start connecting to our, the Gitpod workspace. And this is gonna be the same as running Gitpod in the browser here. Or you can also do it manually by hitting the Gitpod in the bottom left, and then type in open in VS Code. And then you should be able to run it in your Visual Studio code. For now, I'm going to recommend that if you're using Gitpod, just stay in the browser just so that you know, OK, I am running this on a remote server. And just as a reminder for you that you're not actually locally developing. And hopefully this will be a trigger to not actually put any special private keys or anything like that. But you can make workspaces, you can make new folders, and you should be able to run all the commands on here as if you were running locally with Visual Studio code. To open up the terminal, you can hit this little bar in the top left, go to terminal, new terminal, or use control tilde, the exact same as Mac OS and Linux keyboard shortcuts. To create a new folder, we can change directory, cd dot dot, mkdir, new folder, mkdir makes make directory called new folder, and then we're going to change our directory into new folder and hit enter. And now we're in that new folder. For each section, you can either open up the entire source code right into Gitpod, or you can create a new folder for each section yourself and start from blank. And then you would just type code, period, and you'd be in a brand new folder.